Hello and welcome back to my channel Fly High with Priya. In this video, I'll be discussing the play Twelfth Night, which is written by William Shakespeare. Now, from last many few weeks, I haven't uploaded any video, so I thought that I should upload it. I should make a video, so I just took up this interesting romantic comedy by Shakespeare. And when this play opens, basically, it is described that a girl Viola is rescued by a ship captain. Uh, the name is not there. The just a ship, a ship's captain is there. Captain's written. And uh, what happens that uh, she, Viola, and uh, her brother uh, Sebastian, they were uh, on the ship, and a uh, shipwreck happened, uh, took place, and they were, uh, you can say, drown. They were about to drown in the sea, but she is rescued by this captain. Uh, and when she comes into her senses, she asks about her brother, but he says that I only found you. So she thinks that uh, this my brother, my twin brother, is dead, and she is very sad over this fact. And she just asks this captain that please help me uh, to get a job so that I can uh, means I can live, huh, for my livelihood, for my survival. Uh, please get me a job. So this captain helps her, and she is uh, employed in the court of Duke Orsino, who is the Duke of Illyria. Uh, now she disguises herself as Cesario, means as a boy. She disguises herself and names herself as Cesario. When Duke, uh, she arrives at Duke's court. Uh, court uh, this Duke is very much attracted, gets very much attracted towards this uh, Cesario. Means she was a boy, na, at that time. So uh, an element of homosexuality is presented by William Shakespeare. Now what happens that this girl Viola, or you can say that Cesario is very much attracted towards Orsino's looks, his behavior. Uh, but this Orsino loves the Countess, the Countess of Illyria, that is Olivia, and he is sad over the fact that she is not recipro reciprocating. Means she is not accepting his love, though he has, uh, you can say, proposed her so many times. He hasn't proposed himself, but he has sent many of the servants and asked them to just, uh, you can say, woe for her, for him. But uh, she has refused so many times. So this Duke sends. Uh, this Cesario to Olivia's place so that she can view, uh, he can view uh, sorry go uh, this Olivia for him. Now uh, as Cesario is very much attracted towards Orsino, she, uh, so he is very much sad. Uh, means he is not uh, happy that uh, he has to do that job for uh, this uh, Orsino. But as he was the master and he was the servant, so this Cesario has to go to the Countess's place. Now, when this Cesario arrives at Countess' place, this Countess refuse, refuses to meet this person, Cesario. But uh, he uh, just requests and requests, and finally, she's, uh, she just accepts to meet him. The, the reason behind the refusal, you can say, is that uh, uh, the brother of this girl, Olivia, this uh, Countess Olivia, has died, and she's very sad. She's mourning mou over his death, and she has promised that she will not meet. Um, anyone and she'll be mourning uh, for over seven years and she won't be seeing any man but uh, somehow Viola uh, or you can say Cesario is able to convince this uh, countess and she is ready to meet him and when she meets Cesario she gets attracted towards this Cesario so you can see the triangle Orsino likes Olivia Olivia uh, likes Cesario and Cesario likes Orsino Anna? so there is a love triangle uh, now, what happens in the meantime? What happens that there is a person, uh, Sir Toby Belch. He's the uncle of this girl, uh, Olivia, and there is uh, his friend, that is Sir Andrews. They both are living at Olivia's place, and they are living on his on her money, you can say. And they are always busy in merry making. So there is a, a small scene that Malvolio, a servant of this uh, Olivia, he chides them that they always are uh, busy in drinking and all are always be, um, are always busy in merry making. So he chides them. Maria, who is also a servant, she is very much uh, means uh, jealous kind of lady, and uh, she's uh, jealous of this Malvolio. She decides to teach him a lesson. She writes a letter, a love letter, uh, and uh, in that love letter, she uh, writes it on the behalf of Olivia. Means she copies the writing, and she says that uh, Ki Malvolio, I love you, hana. Uh, please you dress. Means she say, uh, she tells that you should dress up like this, you should walk like this, and whenever I uh, see you, you just have to smile. Uh, so this kind of letter, when Malvolio sees, she, he becomes very happy, and he thinks, okay, I'll be the count then, hana. 
so he uh, what whatever what happens now but when he meets olivia means he changes his uh, dress dressing style and whenever he sees uh, olivia he always starts smiling and uh, so because of that weird behavior weird dressing sense olivia thinks that this malvolio has gone mad and she decides or you can say she orders that he should be locked in a room now this um, lady is very much uh, attracted towards his area and she's always thinking about him in the meantime what happens toby bell says that uh, to his friend uh, sir andrews he says that you should go this olivia and if she is ready to marry him then this sir andrews uh, will be the very rich person and they can live happily together you know, uh, on the money of this countess now as he comes to know that this cesario uh, this viola proposes to cesario that i am uh, i just love you hana as a she proposes her so when this sir andrews come to uh, comes to know about this proposal so he is very much you can say angry and he uh, just you can say uh, asks for the a duel between cesario now meantime what happens antonio is saved by a uh, sorry the sebastian is saved by a captain whose name is antonio and they both arrive at illyria now antonio is a person who is you can say barred from illyria he is uh, considered as the enemy so uh, he is not allowed to roam in uh, roam here and there means police is chasing him or the guards are chasing him uh, so uh, as sebastian was uh, in the market or at a some at a, at a place this countess goes and she proposes and says that i like you and uh, please marry me so she takes uh, this sebastian as cesario because uh, this viola and sebastian they were twin brothers hai right? na and when she has disguised himself as cesario she was just looking like sebastian so viola when sees sebastian she thinks that it is he is cesario hai right? na and she just forcefully uh, forcefully takes this uh, sebastian to uh, her house and there sir andrews just you can say um, says that you have to fight with me and if you uh, win then only you can marry this girl and sebastian was very good at uh, you can say fighting uh, he just fights and uh, this said sir andrews he loses the duel and so he is he gets married with this sebastian the sebastian and olivia they get married and in the meantime what happens antonio is arrested and and he's a, he's not able to find sebastian means he was searching for sebastian and he is arrested by the guards and he's taken in the court of duke uh, and there what happens when he was there in the court he sees cesario and uh, now he starts you can say uh, he starts saying that you have ditched me you have ditched me and you are not a good person and uh, i have helped you uh, Uh, he says and he addresses him as sebastian hai na so i have helped you at every step but you have backstepped me you are not there when i need you uh, it has all happened because of you and means all this happens and viola who is in disguise of cesario is very much confused at what is happening and she is not able to understand ki what is going on in the meantime what happens the, this countess and sebastian they arrive and finally uh, you can say uh, this duchess and this sorry viola uh, she removes her disguise and uh, she says that i am viola and so what happens in the last this is a, there is a happy ending uh, a marriage between duke orsino and viola takes place because viola used to like this orsino and orsino is not having any option now as the countess has married sebastian and he was very much attracted towards this uh, viola so he marries uh, her and in the meantime maria the servant marries sir toby bells so there are three marriages in the last one is the marriage of uh, the dutch uh, sorry duke and viola then olivia and sebastian and third was sir toby bells and uh, this girl maria and malvolio is also means uh, everything is uh, out and malvolio uh, is uh, you can say is taken out from that locked room and all are happy in the ending antonio is also you can say saved uh, or you can say he is just he has he has got mercy from duke and everyone is happy in the end so this was all about the play 12th night i hope the summary is very much clear to you thank you for watching and till then bye bye